psychological benefits of commuting to work. What? Because, you know, everybody seems to be loving their remote work. You know, COVID was awful, but so many people were like, oh, I love working at home in my pajamas. It's so nice. I don't want to commute to work. Uh, okay, interesting. Is that true? Turns out it's not true. So in 1994, we're going going back in the way way back machine. Madison doesn't even know what 1994 is. Um, but Joe and I and Amanda do. How old was uh, Madison in 1994? You weren't even born. I thought so. Oh, good. I was right. I said that with a heavy dose of sarcasm, not even realizing when she was born because it's too much math for me at this point. And I was actually right. I was a sophomore in college. Yeah, she she was four. Oh, Nathan was four. Nathan, the director, was four. Madison wasn't even born. Oh, my gosh. I was a sophomore in college. Uh, Joe had just become a senior citizen at that point. So <laughs> no, that's not true. How old were you in 1994, Joe? I don't even want to think about it. See, you can't even compute it either. you got to take your shoes off. Math is too hard. Yeah, math is too hard. Yes. 1994, an Italian physicist named Cesare Marchetti. Well, I love the Italian names. Uh, found that through history, humans have shown a willingness to spend roughly 60 minutes a day in transit. That's pretty fascinating. They didn't now. He didn't say it was desirable. He said that he found that there was a willingness for people to spend 60 minutes a day in a commute. Now, right now, as we sit in 2021, the one-way average for an American commute stands at about 27 minutes. In 2001, two researchers from the University of California, Davis, attempted to figure out the ideal commute time, and they settled on 16 minutes as the ideal commute time. Uh, I'm not going to break down how they did that, but they did all this research and asked people all these questions, and they came at that conclusion. But here's what's interesting. As they begin to study people on this and ask them their opinion, uh, by which they arrived at, well, the ideal commute time would be 16 minutes. Here's what they derived was the benefit of a commute. A feeling of control in one's car. Let me tell you, as a parent of three, sometimes just getting in the car and shutting the door, not even turning the daggum thing on, you go, ah. so I get that, Nathan. You got young kids. You know that. Nathan's smiling big right now. You get excited when you get in the car every morning. Oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> He does. He's in the middle of it. Tell people how old your kids are. Uh, they're five, three, and two. Oh, yeah. My man gets in the car, and he's just like, uh. you don't even have to turn any music on to call me. Oh, that, yeah. That's our, that's our quiet, happy place. That's your place. quiet, happy place. Yeah. All right. So Nathan's exhibit A of that first one. The feeling of control in one's own car. All right. The time to plan. You know, the thinking time. I love uh, the thinking time that I get behind the wheel of a car. The time to decompress. Again, crazy in the morning for Nate. He's got three kids. It's nuts. I got three teenagers. Amanda's got kiddos. It's nuts. And you get in the car, and it's time to decompress from all the crap you just dealt with in the morning. I just got an amen praise hands from Amanda back in the uh, control room there. Uh, to make calls. It's a time of productivity. I love doing calls. I'm famous for making calls on my way into work, and I've gotten in trouble before because I get lost in the call, all right? I love making calls in the car, coming and going. Uh, it's rare that I just am, like, sitting there staring through the window. Uh, those are good call time for me. Uh, and then, hey, how about podcasts? Hello, thanks to all the podcast listeners of The Ken Coleman Show. You're listening in the car. You're listening to audiobooks. It's a time of growth. So a time of control, a time to decompress, a time to be productive, and a time to grow. So the researchers basically came out and said, the commute has some positive utility. Not surprising at all. Uh, but, you know, I'm going to throw one more angle in here. I think it's a great time for transition. Uh, we were talking about being a parent, you know, with Nathan and Amanda on this. But in my time coming into the office... It allows me to switch from dad to teammate to leader, whatever my role is. Because I don't want to come into the office acting like dad. That's not good. I mean, Madison punched me right in the Adam's apple if I start talking to her like I'm dealing with my kids. 
telling her what to do, why she needs to do it, when she needs to do it. That's not going to work. That approach works for my kids. It doesn't work with Madison. So I don't want to come in as a dad. Now let's flip it. On my way home, the commute, I don't want to walk into the off into the house. And by the way, let me just go ahead and admit this. This has been a source of parental tension for me. So I'm going to own this. I don't want to walk into the house in Ken Coleman show mode. The last thing my kids want from me is breaking down their day like I do you folks and giving them all these things they need to do, why they need to do it. They don't want they just want me to be dad. Or if you're a leader, the last thing your family wants is you walking into the house acting like the manager. So you you need to transition. So I that wasn't in the article, but I'm gonna tell you, that's why I think a commute is great. Hey, if nothing else, you transitioning from whatever mode you've been in, personal mode when you're going in, professional mode when you're going home, you transitioning out of that mode is wonderful for you and your family. So pretty interesting, the psychological benefits of the commute. I love that. I think that's absolutely right. And uh, I think here's what's going on. Think about if you're working from home all the time, you have to be even more intentional to get the positive things that we just laid out in a commute.